Hello, welcome to Sun Moon Star Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. These next football songs are to align us and to bless this reading. This reading is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. And this is going to be your next seven days for uh, February 7th, I mean, excuse me, February 14th. Uh, or 15th until February 22nd, all right? Just your next seven days. Scorpio Spirit, what is next seven days for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising? Do you know that I offer a powerful one-to-one, -one, six-week spiritual newbie program about expanding your spirituality? If you are new to spirituality, then this is the perfect uh, program for you. And I also offer private readings as well as sound healing and Reiki, all right? So your next seven days, Scorpio, we have King of Wands. Too much popping out here. We have the King of Wands. Then we have the Hermit. Wisdom. So merging your passions with wisdom at this time. We have the Fool here. You taking this step towards into the unknown. You have the Eight of Swords. Things happen going super fast for you, super rapidly speeding up even. So your manifestations are speeding up or coming towards you more swiftly, especially when you seek this permanent energy, this inner wisdom. You have Templates with the Eight of Swords and the Empress here. All right, so basically there's a saying, abundance is yours, especially when you tap into your intuition. The only thing that you, oh, excuse me, seven of swords. The only thing you have to fear is not having the mental clarity that you seek and also questioning your motives. So asking yourself, why is it that you want what you want and being really honest with yourself at this time. Um, you're really being called to step into, honestly, to chase wisdom at this time. And I feel like, what, I feel like, part of your thing is you kind of like delving deeper the deeper you go the more like the more is coming towards you basically especially with this emperor's card being directly next to this eight of wands energy it's the more you seek yourself and the more you go the more you go inward and especially with this king of wands energy king of wands is all about that fiery passionate um fight like just the all the possibilities that you have and having that confident spirit. The seven of swords is almost a lack of confidence. So you may be lacking confidence at this time, or you may, may be lacking the um, the willpower even to really um, attain what you are seeking. Um, so really having the courage at this time. And even the seven of swords can be courage, you know, like having the courage to be stealthy, but also just knowing your motives and analyzing your motives and trying to bring, to bring balance into your world, especially with this temperance card here temperance again or not again but temperance is the card of balance and is the card of going within and listening within and especially with this hermit card here the hermit is all about um that inner wisdom and you searching for that inner wisdom through quiet observation and by going inward um and seeking peace and reassessing everything that needs to be reassessed so I'm really getting from this for the next seven days is all about you kind of reworking and also establishing new neurological pathways. We do have the tower on the bottom of the deck here. The tower is all about spirit coming in and doing that rapid transformation. So there, this transformation is going to be super rapid, super fast. Oh, and then here's the eight of swords, I called it. So there still may be some fear, some confusion. But this is what this tower moment is trying to come up and clear. Spirit is wanting you to kind of delve deeper so you can establish that connection with yourself. And so you can learn how to trust yourself and learn how to trust your creative realms more. I'm really getting that this might have this king of swords. I mean, excuse me, this king of wands energy is here because you are establishing this inner authority, this leadership energy um, around regulating. I mean, excuse me, around um assessing and connecting with your passions and you're you are connecting with what you want by going inward and finding that quiet voice and that quiet inner self and connecting with that 
and this is what you're being asked to dive deeply into especially with this fool energy the fool is someone who like goes not goes into things blindly but just has such a fresh start that this the new the new adventures there is no fear basically in the fool because not that they're divinely protected but just because the fool is someone who um steps outside of himself for self-discovery and self-fulfillment and so they do this because there's just this need to grow so like there is a need or you may be experiencing an inner need to grow at this time and this is what this king of wands is here you establishing again that inner authority and establishing that um leadership capability and expanding into this empress energy here really i'm getting that this king of wands and this hermit and this also the fool is directly connected to this empress energy so it's almost like you're needing to merge these three energies together this is that like the passion this is the wisdom and this is like the like dogged chasing after it but like through the lens of um, doing it with a very childlike excitement, doing it from a place of, again, self-discovery and having the courage. The Fool is also someone who has tons and tons of courage, tons and tons of backbone. So again, also developing, not saying you don't have a backbone, um, but possibly fortifying your backbone at this time. And you find this, or you may find this um, through this temperance energy, which is all about listening, all about that quiet harmony between the physical and the spiritual, almost like a doorway to spirit, basically. And spirit will allow you to shed this possibly lack of courage, a lack of self-doubt, whatever you're worrying about. Hey, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Swords acts as the Seven of Swords because it's like, I don't know if I can do this. It's like there's a lack of mental clarity at this time. And Spirit is asking you to establish this clarity with this temperance card, with listening to Spirit, with listening um, into that quiet place and really emerging and renewed, basically, and emerging as the Empress. And the Empress is someone who is abundant. And that is a very uh, base, not like based, um, a very one-dimensional version of like one-dimensional view of the empress but the empress is someone who also boldly creates she is directly directly connected to her creative energy and her feminine power the feminine is the are the creators the feminine carries life basically so connecting with that aspect of yourself um and also patiently nurturing yourself and taking action where action needs to be taken at this time so your blessings are coming rapidly towards you or whatever is happening is happening really rapidly especially when you shed well especially first when you go inward and seek this wisdom and stand in your creative authority here and when you seek a uh, spirit not above well above all else yes but um seek spirit even when you have the lack of courage when you don't feel like or when you don't think you can do it when this seems like you're taking a risk um you you possibly feel like you're taking a huge risk at but that's what they're saying they're saying the risk is worth it basically so whatever risk that you are taking it is worth it and so you need to stick it out and to persevere through because again we do have spirit coming in and changing things for you and connecting you with your passions, but there's still is some confusion and there's also still some, excuse me, still some fear here as well. So working past your fears uh, so you can have this abundance and you also may be attracting a lover and that also uh, deals with fear as well. I'm getting that this is more so an overall life thing, but this is really connected to your passion, so your career slash finances at this time and so again spirit is really coming in and trying to kind of like shake your foundation so you can not have a more solid understanding but so you can just be more aware of not your shortcomings but be more aware of the places that are not so solid the places where you can improve basically so it's like spirit is coming in and doing this because there are areas in your life where you can approve upon and where there are belief systems and ways of being that can be approved upon and that 
you're needing to kind of lose this security that you are seeking in a way. It's almost like to get to get this fool energy. The fool is someone who they are so secure that they don't mind being insecure. They're so like safe that they don't mind putting themselves in danger. So I'm not saying go put yourself in danger, but I'm saying that um, you may perceive whatever you are seeking as danger. And so spirit is coming in and shifting that belief and making you kind of see your fears and not see your shortcomings, but to see areas that you can improve on in your life, basically. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify this. Thread. This is a very beautiful reading. They're just really wanting like you to understand that things are happening rapidly for you. And things are working out in your favor. And your blessings are coming super soon. But it's also you shedding. It's also like you can't like receive without emptying. You cannot receive without emptying. I don't know why I can't say this. You cannot receive without emptying yourself for spirit, basically, especially this Empress energy. Um, and this King of Wands and Empress are intimately connected, I feel. We have the Tower again. So spirit is definitely coming in and moving things in your life at this time. And, and you may be like, what the hell? What's happening? Why is my life fumbling around me? But it's just sh simply reshaping your beliefs and... Sometimes the only way to reshape our beliefs are to have things taken away from us. Then we have the sun card here. So knowing that everything is peachy keen, everything is working out for you, everything is working out in your favor at this time. So they're asking you to follow them, not like blindly or anything, but like knowing that you like no harm can come to you, especially when you are seeking God, the universe, spirit, whatever you want to call it. No harm can come to you at this time. You are divinely protected. Um, and even your goals, even like this Seven of Swords energy, you questioning your motives. This is you having the awareness to question your motives. And even if you're watching this reading, like, I don't do that. Well, this is you kind of needing to begin to have the awareness to do these things and to kind of establish that connection with spirit so that um, your life can kind of like go in the direction that you want it to go in. Um, one more, please, spirit. Thank you. And then we have the Fool. So we have two repeat cards here, eh? So this is you. Oh, no. Yeah, no. No. Is that the Fool? Or is that... Um, no, excuse me. That is not the Fool. That is the Magician card. So this is all about manifesting. Uh, your manifestations are happening. Your manifestations are like whatever that you desire, it's happening. Especially when, again, you shed the doubt. You shed the... Whatever the Seven of Swords energy is, whatever these beliefs, belief systems are, which is basically a half system in doubt because as human beings, we tend to doubt what we do not understand or what is hard to perceive. So you're remaining steadfast at this time. We have sacrifice, which is the hangman changing your perspective on any given situation. We have patience and planning. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, meaning to have patience, knowing that what you sow, you shall reap. And then we have Six of Cups. Uh, memories of love here this is connecting you with your past nostalgia um and knowing that the past is at play here so perhaps the past is influencing your current decisions around this like not hopeless energy but just you need to be more hopeful and then we have the two of wands so this is you um basically there's one way to go which is one way your spirit wants to go and then there's another way so you just need to discern uh, between the two at this time all right now we're going to do advice so i'm going to be doing my with some of the oracle cards here i haven't used these in a while um but yeah i'm just going to be doing four cards from here just to keep it simple all right um four cards of advice please for Scorpio. Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising for this upcoming week. Four cards of advice for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising for this upcoming week. Four cards of advice for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising. All right, so this is you paying attention to the synchronicities around you, paying attention to what spirit is showing you through the signs that they give you. So again, you tapping into your inner spirit, that inner knowing. We have exchanging gifts, the energy of reciprocity between you and spirit. So knowing when you sow into something, that that's what you should get. So when you sow into your connection with spirit, 
you will you will reap the rewards of that basically so establishing even a meditation practice at this time a stable meditation practice we have co-create the universe is here and wanting to manifest greatness so you are manifesting greatness basically is the core message here i believe um it's just you simply needing to like step, get up get out of your way um and put in the effort basically and we have here a loyal heart exactly this is yeah you just you, you this like this the energy i'm seeing here is that like input equals output all right input equals output your manifestations are coming true everything is working out in your favor you're simply needing to like and this input is your mind you input thought and thought patterns um into whatever you are doing so being mindful of your thoughts and feelings around whatever you are doing and if it is out of alignment honoring that and being aware of it and working with it and not like working against how you are feeling just rolling with the punches rolling with life's um hardships i guess you can say i'm not really hardships just like life's harshness or life's re life's realities almost even um and working through that but you you are manifesting greatness um you are manifesting your desires you are manifesting with the universe and co-creating with the universe at this time um and again, you always do this, but you're just needing to be more consciously aware of it so you can actively bring into your life what you desire, all right? So you have the power to be, a, you have the power to manifest your desires is what this is saying. You have the power to co-create with the universe, all right? And so we have breathe here, truth be told, new life and yen, feminine energy, especially these two car card combinations here are just so beautiful to me because this is like, the pin, like this is really letting me know that you have what it takes um you have access to the life that you desire you have access to your desires you have access to your manifestations all right so thank you so much for watching scorpio if you find this reading to be helpful please make sure you like comment subscribe do not offer a powerful one-to-one -one spiritual newbie program around expanding your spirituality and if you are awakening spiritually if you are interested everything you need to know is in the description box down below including my brand new landing page www.spirituallygenia.com excuse me www.thesunmoonstarter.com i'm like just change the side over so i'm still getting used to it <laughs> um but you can book your free one-to-one -one consult call and you can also follow me on instagram at spiritually gina thank you so much for watching scorpio i hope you have a beautiful week namaste